Choo Choo and Friends in Story Time. Flip in the air. Whoa. <laughs> Did you see that? Cusley super cool car flip, yo! Is everything okay, Cusley? I heard a loud crash. Goodness, Cusley, look at this mess. Your toys are everywhere. Why don't you put some of this stuff away? You're playing with your cars right now. Why do you need the dinosaurs, the blocks, and the train set all out at the same time? Oh no, Mommy! This game that I'm playing? For it to work, I need all my toys together at the same time! Yeah, I do! Well, if you have everything out all at once, it's going to take you a much longer time to clean it up. You know that you have to put your toys away before you start doing anything else, right? Yes, Mommy, I know. I'll put all of this stuff away before I start doing something else. Vroom! All right, that's a deal then. Let me go see who's at the door. Hustly, your friends are in the yard to play. Hey, hold on, Cusley. What about our deal? You need to clear all this before you start doing something else. Remember? Uh, Mommy, can I please clean up later? My friends are only going to be here for 10 minutes. I promise I'll clean up as soon as they leave. Cusley, hurry! We've got to leave soon. Can I go, please? Mommy, they're waiting. Okay, but you better clean up as soon as they leave. For sure, I will. Thanks, Mom. Dad, you! You're it, Chiku. was a great game. Okay, bye, Cusley. We've got to go now. My friends have left, Mommy. Great. Now you can put your toys away. Wasn't that the deal, Cusley? I was, but... But, Mommy, I'm so hungry and thirsty after all that running. Can I please have a quick snack first? I'll tidy up immediately after. All right, Cusley. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. I think I'll take another. <coughs> Are you putting your toys away? Yes, Mommy, I am. Ugh, I need to think of a quick way to do this. I have a super idea. I'm going to take a shortcut. Watch this. Mommy will never know! How smart am I? 
Uh-oh, forgot that one. But that's just one thing lying around, so I guess that's okay. Done so fast, Cusley? All done, Mommy. My room is clean. Nothing is lying around now. Good job, Cusley. So, what would you like to do now? Uh, let me think. I know, Mommy, I'd love it if you could read to me from my new storybook. Will you? Of course, sweetie. Where's the new book? It's in my room. I'll get it. Be right back. left it lying around. Anyway, let me get the storybook now. Ow! 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 Are you okay, Cusley? Huh? What happened here? Mommy, my toys just taught me a lesson. Huh? I didn't put them away like I should have, Mommy. I took a shortcut and I stuffed them all in there. And when I came to get the storybook, they came tumbling down on me. Ow! Oh, poor you. But look at it this way, Cusley. At least you've learned that tricks and shortcuts don't get you very far, right? And that it's important to put away your toys properly. Correct? That's right, Mommy. I've learned my lesson. I'm always going to put away my toys nicely. And I'm going to tell my friends to do the same too. Hey, all my friends out there, you saw what happened to me. You don't want to be getting hurt like I just did. So, do you agree to put away your toys nicely after playing? Agree, Mommy! That's my boy. Once upon a time, there lived a boy named Cusley. He had grown to be a naughty kid. He pushed his friends down, bullied them, and wanted his way around in everything. His friends were soft and forgiving in nature. They just put up with his harsh and rough behavior, thinking he would change. He had the bad habit of tearing his books, throwing his clothes, and breaking his toys. It was not going to be long before someone taught him a lesson. It was a nice sunny day. His mom yelled out, Cusley, your room looks like a garbage bin. Your clothes, toys, and books are all over the floor. I need the floor cleaned up with all your things put in place. I will be paying a visit to your room pretty soon. You don't want to be grounded, do you? Did you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Loud and clear. I'll make sure the floor is cleaned up. Wow! That was fast! This does not look like your room. Good job! Hmm? <laughs> Come on, let's go for a stroll and grab an ice cream. It's a treat for your hard work. Mommy, I feel tired and sleepy. Dinner is ready. Have an early dinner and hit the sack. Yeah, okay. Whoa, I so forgot that I had dumped these things on the bed. Now, get out of my bed and get back to where you belong!
Pusley threw his books to the floor. He tossed his toys around and dumped his clothes under his bed. Now that my bed is cozy, let me put off the light and go to sleep. The next moment, Cusley was deep in sleep and was snoring away to glory. He started to mumble. He started to toss and turn in his sleep. The toy monster truck zooms past, trying to crush his toes. The books flew around, crashing and bumping into him. The clothes piled up together and was trying to cover him. The toy robot was pulling his hair, jumping up and down on his tummy. Finally, the giant storybook that was hanging on the rack above him crashed onto his head with a bang. There was a loud thud. Cusley had rolled off the bed and was on the floor. He woke up shrieking, startled, dazed, and sweaty. Whoa! What was that? Looks like I had a dreadful dream. It was more of a nightmare. Let me get up and put my things in order. Let me put them where they belong. From that day onwards, he realized his folly and decided to be gentle to one and all. He promised that he will take good care of his books and toys. Oh.